stay the least array Then play the beaches in San Tropez the Bella Mar We get that Gucci cream note The Brooklyn female Al Pacino Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl And if you're seeing me, then you know I'm gonna spill the tea on those baddies East auditions Yes, this is part one We are gonna do a review, recap How these baddies were behaving And how the guests was behaving And how this first part was really lackluster for the doll If you are new to the channel, like the video, share the video And consider subscribing If you're returning to the channel Hey Pooh, I got some flowers for that ass Yeah! Yes, we're going into baddies ease so i wanted to bring you a flower do yes but we're gonna get into the recap now okay so the beginning of the episode we see a lot of scenic shots of dc and the girls in the dc area and things like that of course we get janisha janisha john doing the voiceovers if you will for the introduction we see krishan popping out natalie popping out if you will um it, of course it was fights outside kind of lackluster it was kind of, this first part was kind of lackluster for me so i'm gonna try to scrape up as much detailing as i can to try to make a full review but zeus definitely did not give us a lot to work with on this episode even when it came to the brawls yes we saw like aftermath but they never really showed much of it i don't know if zeus is taking a different lane or or possibly testing the waters but this first part I wasn't impressed by so we go into the first room with um, we have Roly, Biggie, Scotty, Low London and Cat their stage one for the girls in their space it was very rowdy Roly had to get up at one point and actually calm the crowd down she was like y'all need to calm down and y'all should just be happy that I'm here because I could be getting my surgery right now I was like come on Roll. You, you know, but it seemed to work and she did calm him down. This part of the episode, I have to say, I really like Biggie. Biggie really showed off for me this episode and kind of kept this episode going because Biggie showed love to not only Dominican women, Spanish speaking women, but it was a woman named Shani. And when she came up to introduce herself and things like that, Biggie said, I remember you. I know you. And Biggie said, you stood in that line with me last year. And she said, we were chatting. And I guess they must have built some type of relationship waiting in the line. And Biggie gave her a ticket because she remembered her going through the struggle with her last year. And I said, that is a real one. I said, that's a real one, Biggie. The fact that you remember her, you want to give her support, I love that. And a girl who goes to a plenty of auditions herself, if you go into auditions, you know how it is to make a friend. Doing an audition, honey, a lot of us go to these auditions alone. You know what I'm saying? Terrible weather, terrible conditions, terrible people. So when you're able to befriend a girl in line, it's nothing like it. I want to shout out to my homegirl, Jillian. Yes, girl, you supported the doll. We supported each other. But that's how you do. You see what I'm saying? I helped her out. We was going to an audition. This is a little sidebar, but we was doing an audition and it was very, very rough. Um, she was going through, I had supplies, so I helped her out. You know, she was thirsty, hungry. We helped each other out. Like a year or two later, she ended up hitting me up with an opportunity, like a project or whatever. And I and I did the work, you see what I'm saying? But I love that when you're able to be real with another person. So Biggie, I, I, I really like that. Now, this is basically the Biggie episode at this point because Lo London and Biggie actually get into it in front of the contestants because Lo was like, why do you keep picking all the um, Spanish speaking girls? And like they keep saying, why do you keep wanting to speak guala guala to these girls? I thought that was very disrespectful. Um, Biggie did stand up for herself a plenty of times, but I thought it was rude that they didn't want them speaking their native tongue. Now, after Low London went to it with Biggie, now it's Roly going against the original Big, y'all. So in this situation, I did think it was petty. I thought that Roly just wanted to control the situation because Roly kept saying, um, no, 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 don't pick this person, don't pick this person, and stuff like that. I'm like, Roly, you're just trying to control the narrative or control the space, and you you can't control everything. Biggie was casted as a judge for Baddies East because they figured they wanted her input. How she wants to judge, do her. How you want to judge, do you. I didn't like that bigger than thou type of energy you were bringing to the biggest of biggies because she just wanted to pick how she wanted to pick. They have a whole new slew of judges to get through Roly. They're not on cast Roly. It's okay Roly. If she wanted to 
You see what I'm saying? It's five different people. All of y'all pick people from different reasons. You see what I'm saying? It's not giving a deeper detail, honestly. So as the episode continues, it's a lot of chaos, of course, back and forth. It's kind of hard for me to, you know, feel anything for these girls. Even though a lot of the girls do get a nice chunk of time to introduce themselves, it's just so much that goes on. It's like, who who could you see on the show? Who, who couldn't you? Um, some people stood out. Some didn't. I didn't pick a favorite from the lineup. I didn't see a favorite. Um, some people who looked good didn't even get a chance to speak. The girl with the gold body art and stuff like that, she didn't even get to speak because as soon as she came up, they was like, go eat, you won or something. Go to the next room. I just wish like we could have got a little bit more, but let's keep going. So at some point, and it wasn't on film, Roly leaves the audition room. I don't know if she had to go get this surgery she was talking about, but she leaves. And also, eventually, towards the end, Kat leaves out. But I know because I saw next week Kat does return. I don't know if Rolly's going to return. But basically, that's all part one was about. We got a little dialogue from Krishan and Black China, Janisha. We really didn't get much. This first part is literally them in a conference room talking to the girls and, um... It was just messy. Nothing really stood out to me. Nothing off the wall. Nothing like, oh my God, y'all need to, you know, watch right now. Nothing like that. And honestly, can I get a hundred likes on this video, y'all? A hundred plus likes. Let me know if you're interested in me doing part two and part three if they do it. If not, like I said, if this doesn't get that by the time the next one airs, I'll just combine the last two into one video versus each one. But if I see you guys really want me to do each one i'll do each one i just gotta see it okay um we do get a clip of next week next week mariah lynn up here so we get our first cameo i was looking for that this episode i was looking for cameos or people that we may or may not know online or anything like that but no i didn't i didn't recognize anyone which is fine because hopefully that means we'll get a lot of new faces on the baddies east and we also get a cameo from Wop Wop from One More Chance. Yes, if you guys remember Wop Wop, she does have beef with Roly. I don't even know how she made it to the run with Natalie because if it was up to Roly, I don't think she would have made it there. But at any rate, we get also an appearance from Wop Wop. And we also get a lot more brawls. Looks like Tokyo Tony is there, Krishan, Ruby Rose. The girls are running up. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what next week is bringing. But you guys stay locked to the channel. Are you excited for Baddies East that's supposed to be coming? Or are you over it as a franchise? Some people said they are. But I think if they can get a strong cast, I think this could be a fun season. You see what I'm saying? This part one did give mess. But it didn't give deadly mess, okay? It did give mess, but it didn't give deadly, okay? So, you guys let me know what you think. Who really stood out to me on this first part? Biggie. Like I said, I really enjoyed Biggie. I saw a different side of herself. If I was Biggie, I would have popped Rolly. I would have popped a little London. But I know Biggie's a smarter girl than me, and you're playing the game. Yes! See, I'm the type. I pops off. You ain't gonna control me. No. And then, and then that situation, because how I'm doing a judgment, I was invited here just like you. You're going to make me feel less than? Absolutely not. But I understand the game, Biggie. Keep doing the latest things. Who was I disappointed with this episode? Well, besides Zeus, um, you know, not amping this episode up a bit, Roly. I felt like you were just doing the most. I understand you were getting annoyed, but Roly, I've seen the episode, boo. The thing you were getting mad at Biggie about is because she was accepting Spanish-speaking women, Dominican women, or women she connected to, like the domestic violence woman. Biggie says she's had her head rattled or two, and she wanted to pick that girl. That girl looked like a baddie, and she had a, she was a baddie with a heart. Roly got so mad because she said, why does her working for a domestic violence department equate her to being a baddie? That's who Biggie wanted to pick. Who are you to force someone to fit your narrative? I'm not feeling it. And I don't typically say that, but I am now. Uh, I'm team big on this one. Mm -hmm. So that's my thoughts on the situation. But y'all comment below. I did think Kat looked cute. You know, pink. You know what I'm saying? She was wearing a pink and white outfit, if you will. Um, Low London looked good, per usual. Scotty looked good. I liked her look. Of course, Biggie looked good. I liked her look. Roly looked good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody showed off, if you will. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you guys stay locked to the channel. 
let me know your thoughts um run them likes up and remember this do the best you can with what you got and i will see you on my next video